This will be one of the most powerful computers on Earth. It's called Aurora, and it will soon start tackling some of humanity's most pressing issues. This computer at the Argonne National Lab in Illinois will help advanced fields ranging from neuroscience to cancer treatments to the very structure of our universe. Aurora will be one of the US's first exascale computers and one of the fastest in the world. And in this Intel lab in Oregon is a smaller version of Aurora. Come with me behind this door and I'll show you. Say hello to Borealis. Borealis is a test system that evaluates, stress tests, and debugs the technologies that will power the Aurora supercomputer. Aurora and Borealis are collaborations between Intel, Hewlett Packard Enterprise, and the US Department of Energy. This is called a blade. Each blade weighs about 70 pounds. All these blades together are what's called a server rack. You see a lot of these blades in data centers all over the world, but generally, they're not this powerful. Borealis features 128 blades. Aurora will have more than 10,000 of them stacked inside the HPE Cray EX supercomputing platform. Each blade includes two Intel Xeon Max series processors with high bandwidth memory. The Xeon server chips are connected to six Intel data center Mac series GPUs. Intel engineers work daily with Argonne and HPE scientists and technicians. They test hardware and software, work through technical issues, and ultimately speed up and ensure a successful deployment of Aurora. Borealis is not just a test bed for the Aurora system. It's also used in early science. The test system is helping researchers use trained AI models to identify the structures inside the brain, creating a 3D map known as a connectome from data sets too large for today's most powerful systems. It's also helping scientists conduct molecular modeling faster and identify solutions for quantum science and drug discovery. When it's completed later this year, Aurora will be a lot bigger than Borealis. In fact, it will be about the size of two basketball courts and weigh 600 tons. That's about the weight of 300 average-sized cars. Intel's and HPE's technologies aim to deliver more than two exaflops of computing power. That means Aurora should be able to do more than two billion billion calculations per second. That's two followed by 18 zeros. Stay tuned for more news about Aurora and Borealis in the coming months. Hope you enjoyed going behind the store with us. Thanks for watching. I'm Rob Kelton. Thank you.